If your seat does not look like this, see your owner's manual. Look for this switch on the side of your seat. Simply slide it forward or backward and the seat will move in that direction. This switch can also be used to adjust the height and angle of the seat. Move the front or rear end of the switch up or down to adjust the angle of the cushion. Then push down or pull up on the middle of the switch to adjust the height. To recline the seat, push this switch backward until you achieve the desired position. To bring the back upright, push the switch forward. The lumbar support feature provides lower back support to the driver, if so equipped. Push the front end of this lever to extend the lumbar support or push the back end of this lever to retract the seat's lumbar support. To fold the second row bench seat flat for maximum cargo hauling, first, lower the head restraints and headrests. Next, stow the second row seat belts in the seat belt hooks found on the sides of the vehicle. Then lift up the recline lever on the side of the outboard seats and fold the seat backs flat. To return the second row seats to an upright position, push up on the seat back until it latches in place. When returning the seat back to the upright position, always be certain it is completely secured in the latched position. To fold the third row seats flat, pull this strap to release the head restraint. Next, stow the third row seat belts in the seat belt hooks found on the sides of the cargo area. Then pull up on the latch in the upper corner of each seat back and lower the seat back. To return the third row seats to an upright position, pull the straps to raise each seat back until secured. Pull back on the head restraint until it latches. Do not use the pull strap. The passenger side of the second row seat can be slid forward for easy entry or exit from the third row bench seat without a child safety seat being removed. First, lift up on the seat back lever located on the upper outboard side of the seat back on the second row bench seat. This will release the seat back. Now, tilt the seat, and then release the tracks. Slide the entire seat forward to access the rear seat. To return the seat to a locked position, push the upper seat back rearward until the seat back and track are locked. Please see your owner's manual for important safety information, system limitations, and additional operating information.